you've probably seen professional images like this online and you're asking yourself how are they creating this amazing professional photos i have seen people charging for this as a matter of fact i saw one yesterday and it's okay but i am here to show you for free because you're my neighbor i'm going to spill all the tea in this video now if this is something you're interested in stay throughout the process of this tutorial because by the end you are able to create your own professional photo using ai of course you know we're coming to the end of the year you need to go for that professional shoot you need to change that selfie photo on your linkedin bio and on your ig account now like this video so it can reach a wider audience subscribe to the channel if you're yet to now we've gotten all of that out of the way let me show you step by step on how you can create your own professional photo let's get into it so i'm going to show you two ways that you can use nano banana to achieve a professional photo for the first way what you want to do is to get the image you want to use that's your picture you want to upload the image that's what i'm about to do now i've downloaded the image i want to use already this is the image i want to use for the tutorial right if this is not giving me a good result i'm just going to change the picture and then the next thing you want to do is to paste your prompt this is the prompt i'm going to be using you can take a screenshot you can write down this prompt create a hyper realistic professional studio headshot with exact hairstyle using the exact face above in a white corporate shirt the expression is cute and confident you can see that i'm not wearing a white shirt so let's see what nano banana will give to us but before you click send you want to come to tools and click on create images don't just send it make sure to click on tools and create images and then you click on send let's wait for it it's cooking it's cooking okay here we go picture is ready <gasps> ah! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious <laughs> so here we have our picture <laughs> so if you are satisfied with this what you want to do is to come here and click on download but if you're not say i want to change the outfit you can just easily say change the outfit to change the shirt to black change the shirt to black mm, then make make it a straight hair let me see what it will bring out make it a straight hair make my hair straight or make it a straight hair whatever uh here we go <laughs> let's see what it will bring out for us <gasps> in the original image i'm actually wearing a lens and it's actually showing here so we're going to keep giving it more prompts if need be we change the picture that we used okay let me change the picture maybe the picture is the problem <laughs> this is a photo shoot i did a few years ago this is the original photo this is not ai <laughs> okay i did this i think i think I, I did this photo shoot in 2021 yes so we're going to give it the same prompt and we're going to click on send let's see what comes up with a different picture so you want to make sure that the picture you're actually using is nice the fact that you want AI to do it doesn't mean you can use a selfie or a picture that is blur the picture has to be clear on its own it has to be good i guess it looks like you it's so nice i guess it looks like see you. now they are coming. it's me now i use my picture to do it let me see i'm recording ah oh, this is so cool you can see that this is another picture another image and it's super amazing i'm going to download this one because i like it yeah so we have this locked in so we're going to be giving it another prompt i'm just going to instead of putting the prompt here i'm just going to come here since i don't want to modify this one image i've taken i've downloaded it already i'm going to paste the prompt that we're using this is the prompt so i'm just going to keep it so that you can take a screenshot if you want just pause the video and take a screenshot of the prompt okay all right so i'm going to click on upload or update remember i want to show you two ways you can do this this is the first one okay <laughs> i'm going to use this on my LinkedIn profile photo even I, I can also use it on my on my youtube since that guy wants to clone my account all right so <laughs> this is so funny okay this is so cool i hope you're learning something you're finding value in this video subscribe like this video so it can reach a wider audience okay share it with your friends and families share it with your colleagues i wanted to go for photo shoot but after gemini i'm changing my mind <laughs> so share it with everybody share this video with all your friends and families don't hold it this is how, this is one of the ways. I'm going to show you another way you can do this, okay? Hi, neighbor. I hope you're enjoying this video as much as I enjoyed creating it for you. Very quick. I am hosting a 48-hour shameless outreach sprint. 
Now, this is for anyone who wants to land their first or next client by December 31st. I'm going to be sharing with you all the shameless outreach trick I use for myself, right? And also the things I share with my students as well. So if you're someone who has been struggling to land your first client since you started this freelance hustle, you want to sign up. This is for freelancers. This is for business owners. And basically, if you have anything you're selling online, your skill, your services, then you need to sign up for the Shameless Outreach Sprint. It's SOS. We need to lock in neighbor before the 31st of December. You need to land that first client or your next client. So if this is something you're interested in, use the link in the description and in the pinned comments to sign up. This is super affordable. I had to keep it that way so that you will benefit from this. So take advantage of it before we go live because once we do, the price will go up. See you inside, Mabel. I'm about to do another prompt. This is the last one for this first phase. Okay, so I'm just going to come here and I'm using the same image. Okay, I don't want this tutorial to be too long. I'm going to paste the prompt here. This is the prompt. Okay, this is the prompt I'm going to use and I'm going to click on update. So in the prompt, I asked Nano Banana to change my outfit. And this is what we have. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so cool. So this is the first way. Let me share with you another strategy that you can use to generate images. So let's say you don't have a prompt that you want to use. You don't have an idea of the kind of image you want to generate. You don't even want your hand to be here, be positioning basically. What you can do, which is the second way I want to show you, is to go to Pinterest, come to Pinterest, and type and search for a uh, professional photo. Okay, I have it photo shoot here. You want to click on here. You will see different shoots. I think this is a birthday shoot. If you want birthday shoots, they can download this one. Let's use this one. Okay, <laughs> let's download this one. Let's download this one. Oh, no. You want to click on the image. You come to these three dots here and download the image. Okay. So the next place you want to come to is ChatGPT. Once you've downloaded the image, now you want to bring, come to this plus button, click on add photos, bring out your file manager, and then you click on the image. Now the next thing you want to do is to tell ChatGPT to describe, describe this image. So ChatGPT is going to describe the image. Now the next thing you want to do is to copy this description right you're going to tweak it of course copy the description and then we're going to come back to gemini and we're going to come back to create image so instead of leaving it like this i'm going to edit it to make sure that the prompt is properly worded i'm not just going to copy from tajpt the description of the image that we got from pinterest and then i click on send no i'm going to edit it so you can give tajpt more context like telling it to give you camera settings and every other thing you need or you want to see in the image the prompt is what's going to differentiate you from every other person so if you don't know how to prompt i'm going to be making a video on how you can apply for financial aid on the google ai prompt engineering course so you want to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that video turn on the notification bell as well so you don't miss the video okay <laughs> thanks for the apology give me my images oh this is so fine this is you now so i like this one you can see my nose dots is there this thing is still there and my gap tooth, I have got it. <laughs> my nails are the same from the original photo. I really like this one. I'm going to download it. Generate two additional sessions. One where I am holding a laptop. A laptop. And the other, a camera. Okay, so this is the first one. Let's just wait for it to generate all of it. This is the one where I'm holding a laptop. Oh my God, this is so fine. This is so beautiful. So for this one, this would have been amazing as well. I'm going to change this laptop for this particular one. Let me download this one first. I'm going to update the prompt, right? Let me update the prompt. I'm going to come here and generate additional session. One where I am holding a MacBook. So I'm going to say a MacBook. Let's be very specific, a MacBook laptop and the other a camera this one now is cool drop a comment for me saying hi neighbor i am watching you from you mentioned the country you're watching me you from and one thing you like about this tutorial and if you have any questions at all drop them in the comment section for me as well and i'm going to respond to you if you're not subscribed to the channel kindly hit the subscribe button and make sure to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any content on the channel as always enjoy the rest of your week bye neighbor